kicking off our climate uh, business series on street signs. Air pollution kills about 7 million people a year, three quarters of them out here in Asia. Now, even if bad air doesn't kill you, it can still mean chronic allergies. But our next guest, this gentleman here, has a fix. Starting with air pollution in this week's uh, special series, Climate Business, dangerously bad air kills about 7 million people a year. According to the United Nations, nearly three quarters of them out here in Asia. And even if it doesn't kill you, pollution can lead to chronic allergies. In fact, one out of every three people in China now suffer from allergies, according to the World Allergy Organization. For more, uh, Peter Weinman joins us. He's also, uh, chairman and also CEO at Equator Pure Nature. Joining us around the desk here at the SGX together with our guest host, uh, Gareth Nicholson, head of fixed income at the Bank of Singapore. Peter, good to talk to you and appreciate your time. Just uh, right off the bat, uh, your company, explain to us, what do you do? Yeah, so we, we make a range of natural household cleaning products, uh, laundry detergent, dishwasher, floor cleaner, made out of the fermentation of pineapple. We invented the technology and then we patented it globally. And everything is hypoallergenic is what you're saying. Yeah, non-irritation certified, free of known allergens. You know, we're seeing that you, you just mentioned about the pollution, right? We're seeing just allergy rates skyrocket through the region. You know, where I sit in Thailand, it's 49% of children that live in the greater Bangkok area now have allergies. It's about an increase of a third from 15 years ago. Wow, okay. So the thing is, I mean, you're, you're, you're not the only company uh, uh, coming out with the hypoallergenic stuff. Your edge, your pitch would be... Yeah, so, so <clears throat> the concept compared to, let's say, other natural products, yeah. right? The concept, we come from fruit. We ferment a fruit. The end result of that is biosurfactants, natural acids, natural enzymes, and natural preservatives to, that clean. It's different than everything else that exists out there from a chemical product perspective. Okay, so it's, it's natural is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, how big is the market for you? You know, it's, it's substantial. Um, it's substantial because what we're seeing is consumers want to move away from the chemical into more natural products. So when we pitch the message, it's all about the health aspects of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is, you know, 20 years ago or so, um, natural products just didn't clean that well. But today, for products like us, we clean as good as or better than chemical products. A lot of export potential, or yeah, we're, we're you know we base in Thailand, so we sell in Thailand. Um, but we're an AAC-based company. We're selling throughout most of the AAC. Vietnam is a great growth pr uh, prospect for us. We're in several hundred stores and increasing that to about 1,500 stores over the next two years. Mm. But clearly, from a long-term perspective, it's China, the, you know, the largest economy, growing consumer uh, class, and a desire from the from the Chinese consumers to move away to better, healthier products. Do you find it's the, the consumer, the bottom up, that's driving this, or is it kind of policy you know, down, top down? We talk about Beijing and cleaner air, and uh, you know, at the moment, I think it's the cleanest air Beijing's had in the last 10 years. Do you feel it's the push from the government, or, or people actually driving this? The yeah, consumer? It, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, we, we see that people are moving away. Clearly, governments are trying to do their part with, with decreasing pollution, but what we're seeing is people are very concerned about these allergy, respiratory, asthma and other type of issues mm -hmm. and and I constantly hear from moms hey you know my 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 kid has uh, and I have a young child myself my kid has allergies you know these problems and so we're constantly hearing these problems from from consumers that have these issues 
So we've got to ask you here. Uh, China, of course, uh, the mother of all markets for, for, uh, for most people. Uh, it sounds like, including for yourself, right? Mm. Barriers to entry, uh, your business, what you do, fermented pineapples. I mean, I could, I could see potentially, let's say, the Chinese or a Chinese entity trying to do something similar, uh, say, in, in Hainan or something. Sure, sure. We own the technology. We're patented in China. We're uh, patented in the United States. We're patented throughout, uh, throughout Europe. Are you comfortable we're with the protection on your patents, though? Yes. Yes, we, we broadly protected uh, pineapple fruit as a, as a fermentation source. You know, we are the only natural cleaning brand in the world with patented technology. Okay, all right. And you're worried that uh, what you do and uh, getting across borders is going to be affected by what we've been talking about since, uh, since March, uh, this escalate, escalating and also uh, broadening and, and globalizing uh, a trade picture. Yeah, so, you know, for us... Um, we focus on on the natural product expanding through the region, and the, the trade aspects of us are, are quite helpful. We're tariff free through all 10 AAC markets. We're tariff free to China with, with, with the free trade agreement between China and Thailand. Ah, okay. So you're covered. ASEAN economic community is what you're talking about. Yeah, right? yeah. The AAC, and then call it Greater China. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Sounds good, Peter. Listen, uh, great to talk to you. Appreciate the time. Thanks for dropping Thank you by. Thank very much. Do it again. Pleasure is ours. Peter Weinman, there, Chairman and CEO at Equator Pure nature.